one. Oh, oh boy. So, there comes a time when I just need to recap and post something that was just incredible. So, we're going to be looking at a little match here. I'm playing Asmodon, and this is Dragonshire in Heroes of the Storm. So, like many, this game uh, started like any other. So, excuse me. So, the main thing with this game was this absolutely clutch thing that happened in the end. But we'll, we'll get to that. We'll lead up to the. We'll get to the events leading up to that. So we're gonna fast forward a little bit here. So here's me, Asmodon, and Zeratul's bottom, and everyone else's top. And so what happens here at the beginning is this massive power struggle for getting the Dragon Shire. It was actually a really lengthy, lengthy attempt. And now this thing right here, I, trying to get, I was actually lagging a little bit, but Morales right here, this, the enemy team's MVP kept the entire team alive in so many situations where they should have just died. All right. So, again, big power struggle. We keep going. Now, me and Hammer kind of just hold position here and just wreck their forts while we just push. Now, a lot of people don't know this about uh, Dragonshire, is that it's kind of ideal that if you're not really fighting anyone, you can really easily rush these tower points and clear up more path for the uh, Dragon Knight, even though the Dragon Knight usually goes mid and, well... It's not really any of these shrines to defend. But while you're camping, it's always nice to do that. You'd be surprised how much damage you can do. Especially with a few mercs. So we're going to fast forward a little bit here. Again, we're kind of back and forth with these things. Like, we take them back. But we do... Uh, they, they take them back. But we do eventually get the first one. So I'm just going to flank. Spawning as many units now. As we down for those of you who don't know, uh, kind of hero I've been playing recently. He's uh, free this weekend, I believe. He is able to spawn minions and also do some nice AOE damage as well as some single target damage. He's really good all around for pushing lanes and doing damage to heroes because his minions can also help him out. He also has a minion that can spawn that can give a nice health boost to every minion nearby. And I'm actually still mad. Now he has this also this orb ability, which is part of the AOE. And that's really useful for, you know, finishing off heroes because it has such a long range. But I'm just horrible at it because this is only my second game as him. Well, my second serious game. I played as him before, but it was in like a horribly losing game. So we just kind of go back and forth here. Let's scroll up because it gets a little bit more interesting. Yeah, me and Hammer, we're kind of pushing hard. So we're going to just destroy these bases. Again, you don't have to constantly move with the Dragonite in these areas, although it is recommended. I should scroll back a bit there. We do get a good push, but when you kind of clog around the Dragon Knight, you kind of bring the enemy team with you as well, and they are, they target him. So, you know, Dragon Knight would go down really fast, but it's actually looking for a snake right here. So Dragon Knight's like, really like, oh, okay, understandably, like, just retreats, because, you know, that's a lot of guys. It's just lawful stuff. So then he gets hit by two towers here, and he gets stuck in this area, and then that's not good for retreating. Zeratul, yeah, as the Dragon Knight just dies, obviously. So, you know, minor mistake. Okay, now I think this is where they start to park back and they try to kill us. Now, I'm already on the ball because I know they're coming back and I retreat and I, and we, and this hammer, by the way, is not very good. Alright, she tried. But, and this is where I point out something. Now, okay, just time out for a second. In Heroes, a lot of people just call someone stupid or they should just tell them to kill themselves and they don't really tell them how to improve their game. I never try to be like that guy who's like, oh, you're bad, kill yourself, oh, you guys are so bad. I'll, tr I'll, I'll yell it at my screen, of course, but I won't say it to them. Not because I'm scared or anything, I'm just not like that. I try to keep it to myself and if necessary, I will try to fix them. And she actually got a piece of information because she didn't know that because um, Hammer was locked into that siege mode there and that's how she died because the enemy team swarmed her. And if you hit Z as hammer, if it's not cooled on you, you get a 60% speed boost, and yeah, you can get out of that. She, she could have done that. Probably she could have done that like two other times this entire game. Alright, so they kind of screw us up here, and they're all in this big ball. This Zeratul, by the way, is the MVP of our team. We'll get to that in a second. Or more in a minute. 
Another time Hammer died, right? Now Morales is ridiculous. Like this is like their if their tools are is this she is their MVP. Able to like that ability you saw there was a medevac, and what that does is you can load up a bunch of people into this one dropship and go anywhere on the map. It's insane. So Zeratul's kind of camping here. Well, that that by the way, that ability is the most useful in this map. She does not benefit in any other map as much as this one, as far as I can tell. Aside from maybe that one um, with the um, the shrines, the um, not the shrines, the uh, where you have to ki you have to kill those enemies in those one spawn points to get a Punisher. I'm forgetting the map name. It's not Immortal Plains or whatever it's called. It's that's the one where the angels are dueling. No idea. <laughs> whatever. Uh, so yeah, this is um, pretty straightforward. I do believe we get it one more time, or I do. I'm, I'm not sure actually. If it's Nobody was trying to take it from the back, and then we kind of missed that. Which could have been- it, that could have actually screwed us really hard, but we do get the shrine back. And I'm kind of messing around here. Let's fast forward a little bit, because I think there is a point where stuff starts to get a little bit- I think it's when they get their Dragon Knight. Okay, we killed Morales, that's good. And I'm trying to push a little bit here. I'm doing pretty good, but, you know. Aaron, of course, is trying to go ball to the wall, and she's just to stop. So, this is where it gets interesting. Right after this Dragon Knight. We do get a good Dragon Knight off here, I believe. With the reference of this. But then we get pursued here. Fast forward again. That was risky, but it paid off. And I got killed here. Now I tell him to run. Now here's where it gets. This is this is a huge point because it's five versus three, and now one person's gonna come up, but it's still gonna be five versus four. He dies. Kalefoss just wants to fuck around here. He dies, of course. So now they're gonna definitely get the Dragon Knight, as I said it. I'm a little bit blocked from the chat here. Slow down a little bit. So. We're just trying to kill these guys, but we can't, because they already- they just rushed that- those two points, they were on the ball. My team was on the ball a lot of the game, but so was theirs. Heroes is a good game regardless when everyone's on the ball, even if you yeah, end up losing. It just means the enemy team is just better. I mean, it, th there is also these. I mean, that you can say that for every game, like, oh, the enemy team is just better. But no, there could be stupid people in your team that just completely wreck it. I've had games where people just suicide themselves, like, out of spite for no reason. Nice. This is where we kind of get some works. But yeah, so let's actually back it up just a little bit, because there's actually an important point where they would have actually won the game. Okay, so again, us being on the ball, we got here within about 20 seconds. And all of this. So, imagine if we weren't on the ball, or if we just died sooner from incompetence. They would have hit this wall pretty hard if we weren't on that. And that could have actually cost us the game, as we would have seen. We would see later. Let's see, where am I? Because I'm actually in the middle of a lot of the big points of the game. So we're all kind of going around the map, rushing. Just, uh, I believe I come down here to defend. Yep. And there's another battle here. We actually win this one. Get Rainer, which is cool. But we lose a guy up there. So, we're one player up. So we kind of push a little bit here. We poke around. But then... They completely flank us, they just completely... yeah. See that again a little bit? That disgrace in slow motion a little bit? Alright, so yeah. So, these are all, all, everyone comes down. They get us in this point where we're, we have no really 
the real place to go because like behind us is more guys, up here is more guys, and the right is a base. So yeah, that sucks. And of course Morales kept everyone alive, and, they, and that I believe there was a grenade thrown out. And of course Jaina's like ice ring didn't help. It's really bad. But there are two, the only guy alive. And I think I make the suggestion to get both. And unfortunately, no, it gets it anyway. But Morales would have done it too. See, because she's right here. Yeah, we come close. Now, we're actually approaching where another really scary moment happened, where I... I raged pretty hard, I think. So let's fast forward a little bit to where we all are alive. This is when we get the next dragon. And the next dragon, or I think they do. Yeah, so we're kind of here, and I'm like, trying to get it, but we just can't. Because we keep getting, you know, pushed back, all different angles. So yeah, they killed me, which sucks. They just pick us off. I don't know what these guys are doing. But we get this, and if I was alive, I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but... God, it's just... That channel time is just so annoying. Kara tries to get it, but Jaina just kills him. Really annoying. Sorry, yes, we do get the next one. And we do get a good kill here, and this actually helps the game a lot. That's the one after this, that's the one where it's scary. But yeah, we do get a really nice push here. Pretty standard, right? Now, at this point, looks like, okay, we got our inner walls, we got two outer, we're doing, and one of them's pretty, looking pretty good. We're in pretty good shape, right? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, isn't that the million dollar question? Okay, so, Dragon Knight right there. Of course, everyone's falling back. We get a modest retreat. Three people still alive. But then, can't Thus just stop? <laughs> So, yeah, I tell her Sergeant Hammer could have gotten out of there with Z, of course, but she doesn't. And then now, Kale Boss does make a huge mistake right here. Now, look, every enemy's here. I've done this before, but look. Know your class. Kale Boss isn't too bad for taking this. In fact, he almost does. But when you're this close, you have no backup, and you have no... Like, I do it... I did it when, like, we had people around here, right? So... Enemy teams were distracted. These guys are going to obviously get marks because they're going to try to make a beeline for our base now that two of our guys are dead. Alright, so let's just keep playing. And this is kind of heartbreaking. Watch this. Like, look, he all... Oh, oh, oh. And they all retreat to get their health back. And then they take it, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. Now Hammer comes back and Kale Thoss is back for another 40 seconds. This is going to be a hard, this is going to be a little bit hard to kind of hold the line here because they are still picking up stuff. They're gathering mercs. They're getting ready for something big. Now I'm up here, but I think I knew that they were going to do this and we do get a kill here, but we do lose one and we're just trading right now. But, like, Hammer, stop! Like, do you see these, like, suicidal attempts? And I'm just gonna get killed here, and this is where it gets scary. This is the part where, now the shrines are gonna activate, what's gonna happen? We have two people alive, everyone else is dead. Now, Keller kinda goes off, goes rogue here, I guess he just wants to try to do some core damage, which is, in hindsight, it's not too bad, except Nova gets a nice kill off there. Now, I do believe he kills here, which is kinda cool. But he dies in exchange. Oh, no, sorry. He does get away. My bad. And then Kale is trying to get these bases, but obviously it's not going to work. It's for nothing. He goes back. Zero Tool comes back. So at this point, I kind of want to do that thing where I had before where me and Hammer were just kind of pushing the bottom lane. But then I noticed that, you know, this is going top, and we already got one person bottom, so, you know, like, you know, never mind. Three people are going top. Of course, I don't see the, there's a potential fourth or even Valve over here. Okay, we don't see this yet until she gets right into this frame, and then we're like, oh god, it's not gonna work. 
Alright, so this is where they get it. Spoilers. <laughs> now, also, this entire... I'm oh, sorry. Let me, let me actually just back up a little bit. So Hammer was sitting there for a good 20 seconds, and let's just back up just a little bit, because this is actually kind of key to what sets a chain reaction of just horrible, just awfulness. Yeah, she spawns and then she doesn't move. And she says it's like whatever. Okay. So this is gonna go this is, look at how it's going now. So let's slow down a little bit here. So Morales. Our target. That's always been our target. We try to kill her. Now look at this. We get her down to like a fourth of her health. Look at this. So close. And I'm just like trying to poke her off, like, I try to get over there, but you know, you got a heavy range and we got some like burst damage over here. It's ridiculous. I get killed. And this entire time, Hammer's over here. She could have gotten like middle maybe. Or we could have done something. Look at this. <laughs> we could have at least because Morales kept those two alive, and those are heavy damage dealers. If we killed her early, we could have completely nuked them to the ground, but we didn't get that. And now of course they get this. Azento says like, oh we're screwed. I'm like now we're screwed, or before we were screwed anyway, because we could have actually, we really legitimately we ha could have had that, we could have prevented this. So, this is interesting. So remember when I always said they didn't do a lot of damage here? This is, this is where it gets downright scary. Because we're all dead. Look at how much stuff he has to push through, and then thank god Zeratul did that, because that's another thing that pretty much saved the game. Yeah, I say we could probably survive this. If we're all grouped up, because we're all about to respawn. The only problem is they have good health. Now, this is when I'm told, I think by Zeratul, yeah, to push Korra, which... Now, I'm a good... I'm good at pu having a bunch of minions and pushing. The problem is if there's no minions with me, it's kind of hard. But I can spawn a bunch of them and then activate my little demon guy to give him health bonuses. And then I can push two more minions out. Plus my ball of fire when upgraded does it throws it a third minion. I can get a lot of minions out to hit core, right? And that would force them to do a heart back. It probably wouldn't kill it. It obviously wouldn't kill it. But it would do something. As in they would fall back and they wouldn't attempt to attack the core. The problem is I use my ult, which I explain. And I still think it's a decent idea, even though I say it's a bad idea. I'm just like, uh, it's kind of good, it's kind of bad. Like, it won't kill the core, but for sure. But it will keep some off the bat. And I think they were retreating a little bit here. Probably for two reasons, obviously. But they are trying to kind of catch up to me. But I get killed over here, just embarrassingly. And then this, my friends, this is where we have the most clutch victory ever. Zeratul, our MVP. Look at this. This is normally a no-win situ situation. We had so much core health that we were able to do this. Now look, the minions come in. They kind of push our gu their guys back a little bit because they're at low health. Zeratul comes in. Kills Morales. Kill another kill. Two. Three. Core kills a fourth. Hammer revives. Gets a missile up. Kills Raynor at almost... No, this is where I lose my shit. Oh my god. We're actually winning the game. We're, we're sorry, we have a potential to win the game. Now I'm, I'm telling, push, push, come on, come on. Come on, you, you're not doing it. So, all right, whatever. Uh, probably wouldn't have won anyway. So, now the enemy team is completely dead, right? So by the time we spawn in, they'll have about 22 seconds before they respawn. So I'm like, we gotta do this. We gotta, we gotta hammer it. And unfortunately, I just kind of give up because I know, like Zeratul's saying, it, it is too late. They will have enough people up to screw us. Even if they only have two, initially, even when we try to run over there, it's still, yeah, see everyone spawning. This is where I make the good call. I mean, it, I was a bad, I made a bad call in the first place, and now I'm just retreating anyway, so I'm switching my calls to go back and get these mercs. Again, we have teammates here, so we don't have to worry about getting ganked. So, collect all the mercs, because obviously we want to push really hard. Now the shrines are activating, right? And this is where we're... This is kind of a pivotal moment, because we have to not die. It seems like, you know, done. Like, no doubt, right? You don't die, but... Here's the thing. If one of us, or even two of us, dies, they will push us hard, and they will see that, and they will try to wreck us. And they will be more... Because what I notice is when people die in this game, um... You, can, you see more aggressive behavior from each team that we normally would not execute. So we all kind of just 
stay alive here. And thank God we're just getting, like, Zeratul, my man, just keeps getting these shrines. Just protecting them from the enemy. It's great. Now we're all stressed to go over here again. Oh god, do not die. We come so close to dying here so many times. Asma down over here. Just I'm trying to keep me and Kale Boss are trying to hold this line, hold this position. We have the Phoenix, we got our we got, I got my minion spawn. Like look at this. We're we're trying to hold off four people at once. It's so insane. And we have to wait for help. And I'm just trying to inter I interrupted someone there. That would have been the game. And then we get the Dragon Knight. Our MVP's uh, escorting him in. Watch them out. All of them. And Morales is the only one there to defend. These guys don't hearth because I'm actually trying to poke at them, making sure they don't mount up, trying to make sure they don't get away so they can't defend their core, and boom! Let's back up a little bit. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, horn here. I'm like, you did it, man! So, let's actually look, because this normally wouldn't have happened. They would have all went back and then killed us, but look at this. They try to pursue me. I'm just constantly hitting them before they can even hearth. If all of them hard back to Van Morales, we would have probably died there, two of us, and we would have probably lost that game because they would have pushed back really hard. Again, aggressive plays, but we actually end up winning. And all because of that little play. Let's actually see that again, because that's insane. Just such an amazing clutch play. I've never seen a game come so close to defeat and then coming right back from that. I've seen, like, uh, where we get completely snowballed and then we just come back, right? But I've never seen a near core death when we're otherwise evenly matched and then come back. And keep in mind, this entire time, we are so even. The enemy team always seems to be having just a little bit of an advantage over us. Sometimes an entire level ahead. But we managed to hold our ground. They're pulling in their ult, they're pulling in everything they got, trying to kill us. I believe Kara's the first one to die there. Both Hammer, I believe, and... Think of it this way, if Hammer died a couple seconds later, he would have probably lost the game. Because it's spawn time. Now we should probably game with one, two, here we go again. Kills that. Because look at this. That that missile, that attack, you know, not such a bad player. Save the game, both those two. That was insane. Whew, that was probably one of the most intense games of heroes I've played in a while. <laughs> just never give up, guys. And always give it your best. I just cannot believe that. Look at that sliver. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. I'm out. More content coming in.